Apart from that, you may also say that they need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis process. Where do they live? After asking that question yourself, you are also required to measure the distance. The distance from where? From where materials are obtained to the area where they play part. For example, we know that for the case of plants, they get water from the soil. And that water should be carried from the soil by roots to the upper parts of the plants. And carbon dioxide comes from the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide also should be taken from there to the leaves. Therefore, it means the distance from where the materials are obtained to the area where that materials are used is very big. Due to that, it means the system here should be created in order to transmit the materials or to conduct materials. That is why higher organisms need transport system. You may also consider for the case of animals, for example, human being, you need food. Where do you get food? That food you take from the environment. You eat food. After eating, where that food goes? It goes to the stomach and it is digested there. Then what happens after digestion? After digestion, that food should be absorbed to different parts of the body. It means absorption and the assimilation should be taken place. And where should that food go from the digestive system? It means it should be carried by a transport system from the area of digestion to the area of uses. That is why we say that higher organisms should have transport system. But you can also consider in another angle, not only the materials which are needed by the body. You may find that sometimes an organism may produce waste products. Then you should ask yourself, the waste products should remain in the body? Obviously no. The waste product which are produced during metabolic activities should be removed out. It should be removed out from the area of production to the area of removal. For instance, when you consider about uh, urea, soon after being produced by the body, it means it should be eliminated out. Eliminated out by which means? So there, it means urea formation it takes place in the onisin cycle, that is the liver. Then the liver transports that materials using blood to the kidney. From the kidney, there is a formation of urine. Then urea is removed in the form of urine. When you measure the distance from the area of production of urea to the area of removal of that urea is so big. That is why there is a need of having a transport system for the case of higher organisms. Okay, after Knowing that, you may try to consider several materials which are required by the body of organisms. Consider the distance, consider the uses of that material. After knowing all those, you will be in a better position to say why higher organisms should have a transport system. Okay. Today, I intended to cover the following aspects. It means by the end of my presentation, you will be in a better position or you will be able to understand or to attain the following objectives. My objective number one is that you will be able to identify vascular tissues in plants.
you will be able to identify vascular tissues in plants and another aspect you will be able to describe to describe each vascular vascular tissue in a, in plants that means you will be able to describe the xylem you will also able to describe the phloem after making descriptions of these two it is also my expectation that by the end of that presentation you will be able to relate to relate the structure of the vascular tissues to the to their roles that means adaptations of vascular tissues to to their functions adaptations of vascular tissues to their functions okay now i'm going to make my presentation basing on a, about a, seven questions i'm going to base on seven questions the first one you have already seen in my introductory part the second question says that describe the structure of the xylem describe the structure of the xylem you are required to make description and for the case of description for the case of description here you are required first of all to know its components components of uh, xylem xylem is composed uh, of the following there is tracheates tracheate cells apart from tracheates there is also vessels another component is xylem parenchyma and another component is xylem fiber xylem fiber it means the xylem is composed of about uh, these four components after uh, identifying the components you are now required to go to each component describing the structure of each component for instance you may start with the tracheids you may start with the tracheids how does it look like how does tracheid look like in your discussion in if at the beginning of the form 6 you realized that tracheid looks like this is structure it looks like this diagram it has these structures which are known as pits apart from having pits in the wall also it is pointed on both ends pointed 
at both ends and apart from being pointed these cells are elongated the cells have been elongated and they they have lignified cell walls they have lignified cell walls and when they reach maturity they lost their protoplasm it means the they are considered to be dead cells they are considered to be dead cells with no any obstructions at the lumen because the protoplasm have been lost and <coughs> after that <coughs> you should ask yourselves you should ask yourselves are these cells connected or not are these cells connected end to end or not these questions should be asked by you mind you that tracheids are involved in the transportation of mineral salts and water they are involved in transportation of mineral salts and water therefore the ends here should be connected with another tracheid one tracheid is connected end to end by another tracheid to form a continuous tube like structure in order to allow passage of mineral salt and water and mind you that tracheids are the primitive water conducting structures in plants they are only cells which are involved in conduction of water in lower vascular plants after making description of tracheids you are also required to go to another component that is vessel vessel here vessel looks like the following diagram i think you know it because you have already discussed that topic here we are just making revisions it looks like this one with the pits as usual pits are still there for the case of vessels vessels are perforated they are perforated at both ends and the lumen also is empty after reaching maturity it means the protoplasm is lost after reaching maturity that is why the lumen becomes hollow apart from having hollow lumen we consider these cells as dead they are also dead cells like tracheids when we compare the diameter and the height of vessels and the tracheids vessels are somehow shorter and wider they are somehow shorter and wider still vessels have been connected end to end to form a continuous tube which allows passage of water and the mineral salt and when you check the wall the wall also is contain some pits it has some pits it is also lignified the wall is lignified 
there is lignin materials in the cell wall in order to increase strength of that vessel. After describing the structure of vessel, you are also required to know the function which is performed by these kind of cells. Mind you that the main functions of these cells is to conduct water and mineral salts. And vessels are only found in higher plants like angiospins. But for the case of lower plants, they have only tracheids as water conducting cells. Then, after making description on that structure, you are required to go to component number three. Component three, I say it is xylem palenchyma. Xylem palenchyma. These cells are also elongated. The walls of these cells are still lignified. And for the case of xylem palenchyma, these cells are living. These cells are living. The main functions, the main function of this cell is one is to assist to assist lateral conduction of water and mineral salt. But apart from that, it also play another law of store, storing food. From there, we go to the last component. The last component is xylem fiber. Xylem fiber. Xylem fiber, these ones are slender. They are slender, also they are long. They are also lignified. They have pits. But these cells are dead. They are dead cells. They are non conducting, non conducting cells. They are involved in. In making support, making the system strong, so it provides support. Okay, my dear students, after describing the components of xylem and checking their roles, it is your time now to sit down and uh, revise all things which I have introduced uh, to you, starting from question number one and question number two. Use about uh, three minutes to make discussion and a description about what we have uh, discussed. After that time, I will come and uh, we will continue with our lesson. Okay, hi. It is my hope that you have completed the work which I gave you. I said that pass through all things which we have discussed based on question number one and question number two. Now we are going to question number number three. Question number three says that with the aid of the diagram, Describe the structure of xylem. 
when you ch you check that question closely and clearly you may observe that the question is similar to question number 2 you are required to do the same like question number 2 it means diagrams is necessary you should use diagrams in making description mind you that Sometimes you may make description of something without using diagrams, like question number two. But for the case of question three, diagrams should be used in making description. Therefore, I give you that question as a homework. After my presentation, you will sit down and try to describe the structure of xylem with the aid of who? diagrams okay let us now go to question number four question four says that how is the structure of xylem adapted for transportation of water you know the structure of xylem now you are going to concentrate to that structure with relation to its roles for instance, you may say that the xylem is connected, connected end to end to form a continuous connected end to end to form a continuous tube we have seen that one in e, both vessels and the tracheids but e, saying to form continuous tube is not enough you should connect with the, the roll why does it connected end to end to form a continuous tube in order to facilitate transportation of mineral salts and water that is adaptation number one adaptation number two you check the things which are found in the walls walls of the xylem you may realize that we said that the wall is pitted. It contains what? Pits. Why pits? Why? To facilitate lateral movement of water. To facilitate lateral movement of water. Then you may check. For the case of vessels, we said that vessels are perforated. They have been perforated on both, both ends. Why perforated? In order to make a continuous flow of water without any obstructions. But even in tracheids, which have not perforated, they have what? They have pits there, which allows water to move smoothly. And another adaptation, you may check the presence of ligand in materials in the wall. We said that the walls are lignified. Why? To confer strength and support to that vessel it means while transporting water the system cannot collapse that is why the the system is lignified okay these are some of adaptations as your homework you will continue finding out so many adaptations of that system because you already know its sort of description. Therefore, it is easy 
to link the structure and their roles. Let us now go to question number five. Question number five deals with the description of the phloem. Description of phloem. At the beginning there, I said that the there are two types of vascular tissues in plants. That is xylem and the phloem. Therefore, we are through with the xylem. Let us now go to another part of the vascular system, that is phloem. For the case of phloem, we are also required to identify the components of phloem. You cannot make description without knowing its components. Therefore, component number one here is companion companion cells. Apart from companion cells, there is also sieve tube. We can also call sieve tube. Apart from having sieve tubes, there is also phloem parenchyma. Phloem fibers. And the last one is scler sclerates. These five components or these five cells form the so called phloem. Now we are going to describe each type of cell. I'm going to start with the companion cells. These are living cells. They have thin walls. They have thin walls. They have all other cell organelles like mitochondria and the other structures. Apart from having mitochondria, these cells are active. They are active. Mind you that companion cells assist the sieve tube to function efficiently. They have mitochondria here in order to provide the energy which is needed by the sieve tubes to transport food. That is why I say that it assists the sieve tube cells. And apart from that, the companion cells looks like this is structure. As I have already said, mitochondria are there. Other cells inclusions are also found there. The wall is somehow thin, but it is also lignified. Lignification is still there. And another component is phloem parenchyma.
for the case of prime parenchyma there is no difference with the, the parenchyma which is found in the xylem it also lignified and it has speeds it assists the strength of the system in order to make it to perform its function effectively and efficiently apart from frame parenchyma we said that there is also sclerates sclerates these are thin slender structures they are slender they are dead at maturity they are lignified they confer support to the phloem they also provide support and then we go to the last one the last one is sieve sieve tubes these have been modified for conduction of food materials the cells looks like the following diagram here you may get that diagram in your form 6 notes or even in your books it looks like that the protoplasm here have been lost after reaching maturity in order to create a space for transmission of food but at the ends here this area is known as sieve plate sieve plate the same applies to this one this area it is also known as sieve plate and when you check that plate it has some poles it has some poles why in order to allow materials to to move still the wall is lignified and have some poles which allow lateral movement and each sieve tube member we call sieve tube elements each sieve tube element is connected by another sieve tube element to form a continuous pipe to form a continuous pipe which facilitate transportation of all materials the materials which i'm talking here is food which have been synthesized by the plants in the form of sucrose for example okay after describing the structure of phloem after describing the structure of phloem we are now going to check question number 6 question 6 says that with the aid of diagrams describe the structure of phloem with the aid of the diagrams describe the structure of phloem there is no difference with question number 5 the difference there is just you must describe all phloem using diagrams use words together with the diagrams so as we did previously you will take that question as a homework you will go and you find out the diagra diagrams which you trying to describe the phloem structure 
I think you have understood. Then we go to last question. Question number seven. Question seven says that how is the structure of phloem adapted for conduction of organic solutes such as sucrose? How is the structure of phloem adapted for conduction of organic solutes such as sucrose? It means you are required to, to relate the structure and the role which is performed by that particular structure. For example, for example, adaptation number one, you may say that the cells have been connected end to end to form a continuous pipe which facilitates transportation of materials from one point to another. That is one. Second, you may also consider the presence of all sieve plates. We said that there are sieve plates. Presence of sieve plates which prevent flow back of all materials. Number three, you may consider the walls. How does it look like? We said that in each particular cell, walls are lignified. Why? In order to confer strength and support. Apart from being lignified, we also say that the walls are pitted. It means presence of pits. Pits allow lateral movement of food. Again, you are required to sit down and write all the adaptations of phloem in transporting food. Here I just gave you some examples. Okay, after reaching here, you can now assess yourself. You can now assess yourself. We said that by the end of my presentation, three objectives should be attained. Objective number one, I said, you should be able to identify vascular tissues in plants. Now ask yourself, have you managed to identify the vascular tissues in plants? I think you can do it. That is xylem and phloem. Then, Check the second of objective. Second objective said that describe each vascular tissue in a plant. That means describe xylem, then describe phloem. I gave you two sample questions based on the description of xylem and the phloem. It is my hope that you managed to describe the structure of each vascular tissues. Then, the last question says that you will be able to explain the adaptations of vascular tissues to their functions. Now ask yourself, are you able now to explain or to to show how the structure of phloem is adapted for conduction of organic solutes. Can you explain how the structure of xylem adapted for conduction of organic solutes? Then if you can, if you are in a position to get all these three objectives, 
then I can say that my presentation is successful. It means I managed you to reach your goals. But make sure that this presentation is just a revision. You have already discussed in your schools with your teachers about the subtopic. Here we are just making revision. Therefore, make sure that you revise each and everything concerning with the, this matter. After revising each and everything, make sure that you sit down and you try to answer each question. First of all, read. Make sure you understand each and everything. After that, sit down. Take your piece of paper. Take your pen. Try to answer each question precisely. After answering each question, make sure that you mark in order to assess yourself whether you have achieved the goal or not. You sit down. You try to mark by correlating with the materials in the book or in your notes. If you find out that you go astray, sit down again, read again, remove the obstacle which you are facing. When you follow that pattern, it is my expectation that you will be in a better position to understand each and everything concerning with the vascular tissues. Most of you said that transporting plants is very difficult. But here, do you see that the topic is difficult? It is not difficult. It is just a matter of deciding yourself whether you pass or not. Therefore, if you want to pass, sit down, follow the instruction which I gave you, read your books, answer each and everything, then you will master it. Thank you. We shall see. I shall see you in another presentation. Thank you so much. Don't forget to read. Ndege wa jamii moja huruka pamoja na watu wa jamii moja hujumuika pamoja. Tujumuike na watu wenye ulemavu kuwa na jamii jumuishi yenye umoja bila unyanyapaa wa kimaumbile. Kipindi cha wape nafasi hapa TBC1 kinakupa taarifa kuhusu wenye ulemavu katika kada mbalimbali, utaona na vipaji vyao katika michezo, elimu, ajira, biashara na mambo kede kede wanawafanya nichi ya changamoto zao za kimaumbile. Wape nafasi wapate fursa. Usione ukadhani ulemavu si kushindwa. Yote haya utayapata katika kipindi cha wape nafasi kila siku ya Jumatatu saa 12 kamili jioni na marudio ni siku ya Jumatano saa 8 mchana. Hapa TBC1 ukweli na uhakika. Niliwahi kusoma hadithi mimi zamani. Sasa hadithi kidogo nimeisahau sahau. Sikumbuki vizuri sana. Lakini kini chake bado nakikumbuka. Kuna jamaa fulani nadhani walikuwa wanaposta. Kuna binti mahala anasifika sana. Basi kuna waposaji wengi nadhani wanamfata huyo. Huyo binti. Basi wanakwenda lakini huko ni Kilimani huko anakokwenda ni Kilimani lazima upande Kilimani na hapa chini hapa njiani hapa kuna kibibi kizee hapa basi kufika hapo kwa bibi kizee pale bibi kizee ujambo ujambo 
anakuuliza unakwenda wapi anasema nakwenda nakwenda posa wapi huko huko mwanangu siende huko siende kwa nini kubaya huko hapana mimi namtaka yule binti la sema kabisa ni mposa yule kabila lakini hatari huko ambi hapana wewe nielekeze jinsi ya kwenda anakazana sana huyu akishakazana anaambia basi sasa na, na kuelekeza basi utakapokuwa nakwenda utaanza kusikia kelele huyo 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 usisite wala usitazame upande wala usitazame nyuma wewe nenda tu nenda na kila utakavyozidi kwenda utaambiwa huyo 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 na kila utakavyozidi kusogea ndio kelele litazidi sana huyo huyo mchinje mchinje huyo lakini wewe wewe tazama mbele tu nenda tu ukikosea ukageuka ukatazama nyuma utageuka jiwe basi huyu amekubali masharti amekwenda amekwenda huyu huyo 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 ah mara vishindo vi makelele yakamzidi akageuka akatazama nyuma akawajiwe basi wamefata wengi hivi watu wengi sana wamefata waposaji hivyo kila kelele zikidi huyo 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 anageuka nyuma anakuwa jiwe hivyo hivyo mlima ule ukao na mawe mengi sana Atiba yake kamekuja kwa kijana kazuri sana. Bibi huyu anakahurumia. Kijana, kijana anaona kwenda. Sasa na mimi nakwenda nakwenda huko huko posa. Ah, wewe kijana. Kwa ni hadithi hizi usikii, ukijasikia watu. Asema nimesikia lakini na mimi nataka kujaribu. Karibia akawaambia wewe na wewe ugeuke jiwe. Mimi sitaki rudi kwa baba yako. Asema hapana bibi, na mimi nataka kwenda. Sasa nitakwambia kama hizo kuambia wengine. Nenda. <laughs> lakini usigeuke nyuma. Watakusema sana. Huyo 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 mara hawataki yule binti atoke pale. Huyo 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 huyo. Na kila utakavyozidi kukaribia ndivyo atakavyozidi. Kupiga kile. Sasa huyu kijana amesema nitajaribu. Na amejaribu kweli na amekwenda hivyo hivyo na kweli kila anavyozidi kusogea ile kelele pale. Kelele zinazidi. Huyo mchinje mchinje mchinje. Huyo huyo sasa umemfikia mchinje huyo. <laughs> kijana yule amegoma. Amependa mpaka amemfikia ile binti binti amwambia basi madhara umefika sasa mimi wako sasa nitakuonyesha jinsi ya kuwageuza hawa wasiwe mawe hmm. ametoka na mchumba wake pale na dawa ameshapata basi kawanyunyizia wote hawa rafiki zake waliogeuka nyuma hao <laughs> karudi nao nyumbani sasa hiyo ni hadithi nasema nilizoma sijui kama nimeisema vizuri sasa lakini nitakuja kuikumbuka lakini kini chake ni sasa katika mambo haya ya kujenga nchi haya haya ya shabaha shabaha kama hizi kubwa kabisa ni shabaha kubwa kabisa hizi za kuleta haki za kuondoa dhuluma na kuleta haki duniani mnajipa shabaha kubwa kabisa ndio tunataka kujenga nchi ambako hakuna dhuluma dhuluma sasa safari yake ni ngumu sana na mimi nina hakika kila mtakavyozidi kuendelea huko mtaambiwa na makelele huyo 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 wale wasiotaka mfike huko watafanya kile huyo 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 na kila mtakavyosogea kila nchi ile inayozidi kusogea inaonekana kweli na msimamo ina iko katika njia ile ile na inakwenda kelele zitazidi huyo huyo wamepotea hao hao na mimi ni nasema kama nazisikia hizo kelele sasa hivi kama nazisikia zingine hapa hapa Tanzania zingine zitoka nje ya Tanzania hao 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 wameposwa njia hao hao wachinje sasa wa Tanzania mimi sikubali kuwajiwe sasa kama ukisema ni woga ni woga au nini spotari ya mbali lakini kuwajiwe sikubali hata sigeu kinyuma maana ama tulikusudia kweli ama tulitania ama tulikusudia kweli kujenga nchi ya, ya haki ama tulikuwa tunatania tu sasa kama tulikusudia hatuwezi tukarudi nyuma kwa kelele za wapumbavu na wanyonyaji tutakwenda tu tutapata matatizo tutapata majizi humu humu 
tutapata wanyang'anyi humu humu tutapata watetezi wa mabepari humu humu watazidisha kelele lakini tutakwenda wanaotaka geuka mawe geukeni <mulia> Matuni kiongozi mkuwa mapinduzi Bali pia ni mwalimu Baba mwenye kipaji cha ukarimu Na kuna siyafamu Kwa mba yeye ni kiongozi habisi Anaeshiri pia na nasi Katika shida Hivi ndivyo tunavyoweza kuwalinda watu wenye ulemavu dhidi ya maambukizi ya virusi vya corona. Tuwasafishe kwa kutumia maji tiririka na sabuni pamoja na vitakasa mikono. Tunapowasalimia tusiwape mikono. Hapana. Lakini tunaweza kufanya hivi ikiwa unatembelea vifaa saidizi. Njia hii inafaa zaidi. Tunapokohoa au kupiga chafya tunapaswa kufunika kinywa kwa kitambaa kisafi au kiwiko cha mkono kuzuia maambukizi. Huyu ni Akashi Mtenga, maarufu kama Zungu la Daa, ni msanii. <coughs> Hii itakusaidia wewe mwenyewe ili maambukizi mengine yasiwapate watu wengine, lakini popote tunapoenda tutumie kunao kwa watu wasiona ni vizuri kujisafisha kabla ya kuwagusa na kuwaongoza. Tuwalinde dhidi ya virusi vya corona inawezekana tumia nafasi yako kumbuka pia kugusa uso wako ni hatari akili akili huyu akili anayosiri